Now, home defense is a rather interesting topic. In some countries, such as America, you can use firearms, but in this country, they're not exactly easy to get a hold of. So when you see things like this, it's actually just a BB gun, and I don't think it's gonna do much if someone tries to break into my cabin. So there are other alternatives to uh, something like a BB gun, such as an ax, a fork, or even a hoe. Now, these methods for uh, home defense are a bit boring, Plus, they're borderline illegal. You know, they can't go around waving knives in people's faces. The phrase goes, every Englishman's home is his castle. And I thought, technically, catapults are not illegal in this country. In this episode of The Gentleman Maker, we're going to build a trebuchet to defend your home. So for this project, you will need two particle photons, some breadboard, two servos, two 7805 regulators, two batteries, an ultrasonic ranging module, two clips for your batteries, four capacitors, 100 nanofarad. You're also gonna need some wire, some wood, string, and other materials to build your trebuchet. All the parts for the trebuchet project can be found on DigiKey, link in the description below. The scheme it's schematic for this project is rather simple. Each photon has a servo to control. The ultrasonic radar sensor uses the servo to rotate the sensor to scan the area around it. The trebuchet trigger also has a servo and the servo is what actually pulls the string to fire the trebuchet. One disadvantage of the photon is that it can't take a large input power supply. For example, I can't just connect a nine volt battery to the photon. I can only connect up to 5.5 volts onto the V-in supply. Therefore, I have to use a simple 7805 circuit to provide 5 volts to the photon. The code for each photon is rather complex, so we'll only briefly look at it. Both the trebuchet trigger and the ultrasonic radar sensor use the MQTT library, and we take advantage of the test server that is run by the Mosquito organization. The trebuchet trigger has a simple callback function, and all that does is look to see if a message has been posted to the trigger topic. If there has, then it knows to fire. The ultrasonic sensor program doesn't need a callback function, or at least it doesn't need to do anything, because the ultrasonic sensor doesn't actually subscribe to anything, it only publishes data. The ultrasonic sensor constantly makes measurements and rotates the motor slowly. Then it publishes data to a topic called radar data, and it uses the hashtag symbol to separate the angle from the distance measured. A simple Python program has been made, and all this does is take data from that topic, the radar data topic, and then determines if the distance is too short. In other words, if something has crossed the sensor. Once it makes that detection, it then publishes some data to the trigger feed, which then causes the trebuchet to trigger. The Python program also displays the distance data on a really trivial radar-like screen. Now this design can easily be expanded to have multiple sensors, but for now we're just sticking to the one sensor. And as you can see, as the sensor rotates, it plots the distance data. The heart of the trebuchet project is the particle photon. Now, I was only introduced to this about two weeks ago. And ever since I discovered them, I think they are the bee's knees. They are the best thing I've ever seen. But why? Well, essentially, Arduinos are great for simple prototyping, plugging things in, but they kind of lack the uh, network area. Now, you could use an ESP8266 to give yourself um, sort of like Wi-Fi control on a simple microcontroller, but the ESP8266 is a bit of a funny one. For one thing, big distributors don't tend to stock development boards at a good price. And secondly, they can be a tad awkward to program. If you've got an ESP8266 that needs some firmware flashing, then it is a bit involved. But the Particle Photon not only gives you Wi-Fi capabilities, it also offers over-the-air programming, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The Particle Photon could be used in a project anywhere in the world, and as long as it's got an internet connection, you can program it wherever, and it is that good. The IDE for the Particle Photon is also in a browser, so you don't need to download software and use it. All the libraries are there. You can search through their library list to add, so you can use things like the MQTT library, which we use in this project, which is really helpful. So in my opinion, the Particle Photon is awesome. The trebuchet's construction is rather simple. It consists of a pair of A-frames made out of softwood. A centre bar is used as a pivot point and also keeps the A-frames together. Four bricks are taped together with parcel tape, which are then connected with string to the main lever. A small servo is used to hold the string that connects to the lever to stop it from firing. Then, when the servo turns, the trebuchet launches. 
Now this ball doesn't look like a particle photon, but it actually is. Or to be specific, it is a photon, but it's on a slightly different ball configuration. However, the code still works for it. The ultrasonic radar is also rather simple, mounted on a single piece of wood, another piece of wood on top of the servo for the ultrasonic module to sit on, and the breadboard as well. So the trebuchet is built, the property is defended, and see you next time.